Hello students, welcome to Ohm Institute and in this video let us discuss the question of control system that were asked in the Genco examination for EC branch, the recent Genco examination conducted on this 14th of July. So yes guys, you know the question of control systems are on easier level, okay, uh, not factual type because like in other subjects in digital and all you saw that there are several factual type questions also, okay, some calculations are there except this, this is direct one, okay, some calculations are there but they are very basic calculations, so questions are on easier side, this one is direct based on the nature of signal, sudden, uh, you know, sudden shock, okay, impulse, okay, this is the impulsive nature, so A goes with 3, okay, sudden change, step, Okay, which changes from 0 to 1 abruptly. Okay, so that goes with, uh, you know, 4. Okay, B goes with 4. Linear, linear function, ramp. Okay, RT equal to T, Y equal to X function. Okay, and uh, parabolic, of course, for the because of higher degree, it will be changing faster with time. Okay, so A3. Okay, so with A3 only, you can say option number C. Okay, only one of the option matches. Option number C is correct one here. So this is direct based on the nature of the signal. Let's go ahead to the next one here. Okay, this is a Nyquist plot. Actually, two questions are there related to Nyquist plot this year. The Nyquist plot of GSHS, which has one right-hand pole. Okay, one right-hand pole, meaning P plus equal to 1. P plus number of poles of GSHS in the right side. Okay, in the right half plane. So, that is why I call it as P plus. Plus means positive area, right side area. Okay, now the corresponding closed loop system is, okay. So, now there is no nothing mentioned. There is nothing mentioned about the contour. So, let me take, okay. By default, as the clockwise Nyquist contour, there isn't any data mentioned here. Okay, so n is equal to p plus minus z plus, and what is the value of n? Number of encirclements, okay, which are considered, okay, in the anti-clockwise direction positive, clockwise encirclements are considered negative. So, number of encirclements of which point? Minus 1, comma 0, and you are able to see that there is clearly one encirclement, and that is in the anti-clockwise sense. So, n will be plus 1. Okay, is equal to P is also given as plus 1 minus Z plus and Z plus is then equal to 2. Oh, sorry, 1 and 1 cancel. Z plus is equal to 0. So, the system is stable. Okay, Z plus is what? Z plus is the number of zeros of 1 plus GSHS in the RHP. Okay, characteristic equation. Okay, so when you talk about N, N is the number of encirclements of minus 1 comma 0. Okay, P plus is the number of poles of GSHS. Poles of GSHS in the RHP. Z plus is the number of zeros of number of zeros of 1 plus GSHS and zeros of 1 plus GSHS means roots of characteristic equation and because there are no roots of characteristic equation in RHP signifying stability. Correct answer is option number A. Okay. Next one. Okay. So, I hope you are aware about this time. I am not revising in detail because you know we have studied control system. We are just looking into the solutions of this year paper. For a closed loop system, okay, with the loop transfer function, okay, loop transfer function again LS which is known as GSHS, okay, is of dash type, the system is dash, okay, so system is what stable or unstable and here what you have to fit is minimum or maximum phase type, okay, if the LS plot, okay, GSHS plot means a Nyquist plot, okay, that corresponds to the Nyquist part does not encircle, okay, now what is given to you in this statement is, Okay, the Nyquist plot that corresponds to the Nyquist path does not encircle minus 1 comma 0. There is no encirclement of minus 1 comma 0. The n is 0. And again, let me take n equal to p minus z. Again, the clockwise Nyquist contour case if I take. the n is 0. Okay, is p plus minus z plus. Okay, so what is z plus? If I have to comment on stability or unstability, as we saw in the last problem, if z plus is 0, then we can say that the stable. For that, I need p plus. Okay, now, 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 here... Definitely, if the system is minimum phase, that ensures what? All the poles and zeros. Okay, which system? LS. Okay, we are talking about this fill in the blank for LS, loop transfer function. Okay, if the loop transfer function is minimum phase, then all the poles and zeros are in LHP. So, that means all poles are in LHP. Let us be, you know, specific about poles. And all poles in LHP means P plus will be zero. So, definitely, if you fix here minimum phase, Okay, then you get P plus equal to 0. Then you ensure P plus equal to 0 and then Z plus will be 0 and then you can choose the option as stability. Okay, so minimum phase and stable, that is one confirm option. If it is not minimum phase, if it is maximum phase, okay, maximum phase means definitely all zeros are in the RHP. Okay, but some poles may be LHP, RHP. Okay, so we can't be sure where are the poles. Okay, some of them may be LHP, some of them may be RHP. So we can't be sure about stability. Okay. So, it can be either case. So, that is why if it is minimum phase, then we can be sure about stability. The option that matches here is option number C. Okay, let's go ahead to the next one. 
Okay, the signal flow graph, Mason's gain formula, direct question. Okay, as I told you, questions are simple, but not statement, not factual based, basic, basic calculations or basic analysis is required. Okay, Mason's gain formula, what is the transfer function C by R? So now see, first of all, how many forward paths you are able to see? Okay, the first forward path here is, okay, you take this one, S inverse, S inverse, both the integrators will be taken. Okay, so S power minus 2. Second forward path can be taken here. Okay, 1 into S inverse into 1 into 1 going from the top. These two will not contribute to forward path because they are in the reverse direction. The second forward path is S power minus 1. How many loops are there? Okay, how many loops are there? Okay, L1. See, very clearly this is a loop. S power minus 1 into 4. S power minus 1 into 4. Okay, second loop into minus 4 actually. So, this is minus 4 S inverse. Second loop. Okay, uh, let's take this one, 1 into minus 4, we're using the top branch, so 1 into minus 4, so that is minus 4, L3, okay, what is the L3, okay, now, yeah, look into this, S inverse, S inverse with the minus 2, okay, the bigger loop, okay, S inverse, again with S inverse with minus 2, so this is minus 2, S power minus 2, and similarly, Okay, if there is a bigger loop, we can again use the top branch rather than this integrator. Okay, so S inverse into 1 into minus 2. Okay, S inverse into 1 into the minus 2. So, minus 2 S power minus 1. These are the four loops. These are the four loops. Okay, and see, this is number 1, this is number 2, this is number 3, and this was number 4. All of them pass here. All of them pass from here. All of them pass from here. All are touching. Just... No, one common point I have shown you very clearly. Very clearly I have shown you. Okay, so all are touching. All touching. So, product term will not come because we need to see if they are non-touching, then the product terms can also come. Okay. Achha, all of them, as I told you, pass all of the loops use this point. So, if you delete any forward path, okay, if you erase this forward path, so this node will be gone. Okay, so path factor will be what? See, what is the path factor of any forward path? Path factor is the determinant of the remaining graph once you erase the forward path. So, if I erase the first forward path, this node is gone. So, all loops will be open. Okay. If there is no loop, so path factor, the determinant is 1. Similarly, even if you erase the second forward path, this is the second forward path. Suppose if I erase it, so with this, this node will also go. Now, and if this node goes, all the loops are open. All loops use this node. So, if this node goes, if this node is absent, all loops will be open. Again, the determinant will be 1. So, delta 2 is also 1. Okay, so now you have sufficient information to apply the Mason's gain formula. Yes, dear. So, what is the C by R? Okay, there are two forward paths. So, I will write it as P1 del 1 plus P2 del 2 divided by delta. What is the P1? Okay, the P1 is S power minus 2. Okay, multiplied by path factor is 1. P1 is S power minus 1. Path factor is 1 upon 1 minus sum of all the loop gains. Only sum will come. No product term will come. Minus 4 in, in this inverse, minus 4 minus 2 s power minus 2 and minus 2 s inverse okay so this is total equal to s power minus 2 s power minus 1 upon minus 4 minus 2 that will become plus to so plus 6 s power minus 1 and 1 minus minus 4 that will be constant actually so 1 plus 4 5 then 6 s inverse and minus minus plus 2 s power minus 2 multiply throughout by s square okay denominator numerator both so, this s square s power minus 2 cancel. Okay, so 1 s power minus 1 into s power 2. So, 1 plus s. Okay, then denominator 5 s square plus 6 s and plus 2. 1 plus s upon 5 s square plus 6 s plus 2. Ah, 1 plus s or s plus 1. Here it is. Option number D is the correct one. Option number D is the correct answer. Okay, dear. Let's go ahead for the next one. Okay. Okay, so Arauthorvitz criteria based. Consider the characteristic equation. Fourth order equation is given. What is the condition for stability? So I will start making the Rauth array with the first two rows, s power 4 and s power 3, arranging the alternate coefficients. Okay, this is the entire constant term. So 1 and then 5 and then k plus 10. Okay, in the s cube row, okay, starting with the coefficient 3, taking the alternate term 6 and then this is 0. Okay, s square, 3 into 5, 15 minus 6, 9, 9 by 3 will be 3. 3 into k plus 10 minus 0, divide by 3, so only k plus 10. Last element of a row is anyway 0. S power 1, okay, 3 into 6 minus 3 into k plus 10, divide by 3. So, 3 will be cancelled. Let me write it as 6 minus, here it is 6 and then minus of k plus 10. Okay, then this will be 0 because these two, this column is 0, na? okay, 
last element anyway is 0, last row s power 0, suppose this is x, x into k plus 10 upon x, so x cancelled, only k plus 10, okay, this will be 0, see, because the next column on the top is 0, and last element of row is anyway 0, okay, now, what is the condition for stability, okay, condition for stability, now see, this is plus, 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 no sign change is required, okay, no row of 0, okay, condition for stability, okay, no sign change, okay and no row of 0 because even if there is a row of 0 okay then the system may be maximum marginally stable it can never be purely stable okay so that means this is plus 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 okay this should be this particular term 6 minus of k plus 10 okay should be strictly positive not even equal to 0 okay because if this is 0 you get a row of 0 so I take it as strictly positive so this is like how much 6 minus 10 to so minus 4 and minus k greater than 0 signifying k less than minus 4. So, this is one condition k less than minus 4 and also this term everything should be plus now. So, k plus 10 should also be plus k plus 10 positive. So, k should be greater than minus 10. So, k should be greater than minus 10. Okay. And less than minus 4. So, k is in the range minus 10 to minus 4. Minus 10 to minus 4. Correct answer is option number D. Minus 10 to minus 4. Correct answer is the option number D. Okay. Option number D. Fine. These are the five questions are there from the control system. Okay, so uh, all of them are easy only. Okay, because a regular expected question, but only thing is they are not like tick mark questions and many other subjects you saw only direct tick mark. You need some calculation, but easy one only. Okay, nothing complicated or nothing. You have to think a lot about the question. If you know RH, you can start solving quickly. Okay, if you know the Nyquist, the two questions are straightforward based on the Nyquist concept only. Okay, this one was again simple Mason's gain formula. The first question was simple, the nature of the signals, step, ramp, parabolic, etc. Okay, guys, so keep subscribed to Home Institute channel if you want to, you know, attend all such important useful videos for you. Thank you. Bye-bye.